I also want to um, acknowledge today and welcome the difficult decision that the Syrian High Negotiation Committee has made to attend the peace talks hosted by the United Nations Special Envoy Stefan de Mistura in Geneva uh, today. We know that that was a difficult decision for them because of the attrition that their affiliated opposition groups are facing from regime and increasingly from Russian uh, bombardment in Syria. Intra-Syria peace negotiations must deliver a political transition away from Assad and end the suffering of the Syrian people. And the UK supports this process um, uh, without caveat, and we call for complete and unfettered humanitarian access across Syria and an end to all violations of international humanitarian law, including the indiscriminate bombing of civilian populations as set out in UNSCR 2254. The UK believes that a Syrian-led political settlement to the conflict is the only way forward that will allow us then to focus our efforts on dealing with the scourge of Daesh in Syria uh, and Iraq. And we expect both sides to participate in these talks in Geneva in good faith and finally to provide the peace that the Syrian people deserve. The UK does support uh, the moderate uh, opposition. We do not supply lethal aid to the opposition, but we do support them in many other ways. Um, and I'm going this afternoon um, to see some uh, civil, uh, Syrian civil defenders uh, being trained, um, some uh, medical support teams being trained. So we provide uh, support which is, I believe, valuable uh, to the opposition, and we will keep that support under continuous review. We think we need to make a step change now from simply the traditional model of passing the hat round the international donor community, asking for support for UN-led efforts towards a more engaged approach, working with the host countries to ensure that their economies can grow and expand uh, and uh, utilize the opportunity that the refugees bring as well as meeting the burden that they undoubtedly pose. The compact will take forward ambitious plans for private sector-led growth through new investment, opening up new opportunities for all, and uh, we will be encouraging the international community to make significant financial pledges and significant political commitments to boost Jordan's overall economic situation.